Hi, how you doing? Good, I hope. I've been very concerned here lately. I've been hearing a lot about the military, and I don't like what I'm hearing. And something else that's bothering me, I've been studying uh, this book of sociology, Introduction to Sociology by Henry L. Tischler. And believe it or not, it's, I always wonder what sociology was about, what it was for. And I am coming to realize <clears throat> that it's a tool. And just like any tools, you can use it for good or bad reasons. Now there's something in here that really irked me. <clears throat> and I'll tell you what it is. In the part... And chapter 4, Socialization and Development. And under this heading comes Becoming a Person, Biology and Culture, Theories of Development, Early Socialization in American Society, Adult Socialization, Aging and Society. And right here at the very beginning, <clears throat> they was telling us something about uh, a military person and I want to stress to you that as writers the sociologists are pretty much the way a real honest reporter or journalist is they are not biased in their writing they just give you the facts and their observations of people and things going on so uh, it also applies a little psychology in there, but that's another kettle of fish. Let me read you what concerns me. It had been only 11 weeks since the recruits started Marine Boot Camp training at Paris Island, <clears throat> South Carolina. But now, as many revisited civil civilian society, they feel alienated from their own past lives. To Patrick Baton, everything feels different. I can't stand half of my friends. Frank DeMarco attended a street fair in Bayonne, New Jersey. It was crowded. Trash everywhere. People were drinking, getting into fights. No politeness whatsoever. This is the way civilian life is nasty. As the son of a Wall Street executive, Daniel King came from a privileged background. When he came home to spend some time with his family, he said, I don't know how to act. I didn't know how to carry on a conversation. He found it even more difficult being with his friends. They were drinking, acting stupid, and loud. He was particularly disappointed when two old friends refused to postpone smoking marijuana for a few minutes until he was away from them. I was disappointed in them doing that. <clears throat> it made me want to be at SOI, the Marine School of Infantry. Keen felt like he had just joined a cult or a religion. People don't understand, he said, and I'm not going to waste my breath trying to explain when the only thing that really impresses them is how much beer you can chug down in 30 seconds. Military ideology disapproves of the lack of order and respect for authority that it believes characterizes civilian society. As Sergeant Major James Moore pointed out, it is difficult to go back into a society of what's in it for me <clears throat> when a Marine has been taught the opposite for so long. During boot camp, the Marine Corps attempts to sever a recruit's ties to his or her private life is to facilitate a process of socialization to the military culture. <clears throat> By the time it is over, the Marines come to see themselves as different from society, morally and culturally. The boot camp experience has modified their previous years of socialization enough that they now feel most comfortable <clears throat> with others who are also part of that culture. 
The process of socialization begins at birth. A baby is helpless. It cannot walk or talk. Somebody has to take care of its every need. How does the baby get the care it needs? It smiles, makes sounds, and does cute things. The baby is developing social skills that are at the heart of what makes us human. Through its ability to get the attention and care of its mother and others, the baby promotes many of the behaviors and emotions that we prize in ourselves, and that often distinguish us from animals. Human babies are dependent for such a long time. The humans have had to develop a model of child rearing that was different from the apes. Chimpanzee and gorilla mothers are capable of rearing their offspring pretty much through their own powers, but human mothers are not. To raise a child, many people need to be involved. The adults need to cooperate and the baby needs to respond and interact with them. An elaborate social network needs to develop. This process of social interaction that teaches the child the intellectual, physical, and social skills needed to function as a member of society is called socialization. Through socialization experiences, children learn the culture of the society into which they have been born. In the course of this process, each child slowly acquires a personality, that is, the patterns of behavior and ways of thinking and feeling that are distinctive for each individual. Contrary <clears throat> to popular wisdom, nobody is born salesperson criminal, or military officers. These things are all learned and modified as a part of the socialization process. Now it looks like they are brainwashing our military men for what they want them to do, which clearly these days our people are being used to go over and kill foreign people to exploit and murder for corporations. They're working for the corporations. And it made me really wonder to see these bad cops pepper spraying citizens for nothing just because they had a chance to do it. They sound like they were in the military. Plus, my father was in the military in the Air Force and he told us about the experiments they did on them. They're, they locked them into a big room and experimented with chemicals like mustard gas and other things that they piped into that room. And the way he died looked horrible. I always wondered if eventually the level of that bad chemical finally took him out. He just dried up and went to just tiny sticks in two weeks. It was horrible. So I'm wondering. They have a secret agency in our government, in the military part of it too, and mad scientists. <clears throat> they're working on all kinds of uh, weaponry and surveillance equipment and things like that. And after having a uh, a brain operation myself on an aneurysm I wonder if something's been put in my head because it seems like a lot of people start thinking about things I do did some of our military men get a killer implant in their heads or somewhere in their body that they can be controlled with because there's a lot of things going on hooking people up to computers I really have to wonder and I'm still studying although I think People didn't want me reading this kind of stuff <clears throat> because eventually I'm going to talk about how the sociology is hooked up with uh, political science as well. It's another tool and they're like brothers and sisters in this. And they are learning about groups of people and they're not always going to be right because most groups of people are all different from each other even if they're in the same race as far as that's concerned. And they don't seem to be quite aware of these differences. And I'm not telling. <laughs> well, i got to go see if that uh, big fat turkey is thawing out well enough. And I hope y'all have a great big turkey to have for Thanksgiving. Y'all have a really nice one. Day or night, wherever you are.
Talk to you later.